Hello, it's me again, ING Hammer, and today I'm gonna show you another tutorial on how to install Babinex for Worldbox. First thing you do is you open a browser, a internet browser, and then you search for Babinex download. First one should be from GitHub, if not, just search for GitHub. Um, select this one. Now we're gonna get redirected to the GitHub page. Um, props to Gorsington for publishing Bepinex. Now we're not gonna download the latest one because it's not really released, it's just a beta. We're gonna scroll down until we see Bepinex version 5.4.21. This is the correct one. And for um, MacBooks or Macs, you download this one, the first one, which says BEP NX Unix. And for Windows, you download the 64-bit version. I don't think any of my viewers have a x86-bit version of Windows. If so, then go for it. Basically, all of you guys should have a 64-bit version. Just click on this one. It will automatically download the zip file for you. Now we're gonna open the zip file. It contains four types of data, four types of files. After we downloaded Bepinex, we close the browser. Next thing is to locate Worldbox itself in the Explorer. Um, how are we gonna do that? We're gonna open Steam, head to library, right click Worldbox, go to manage, go to browse local files, and then we close Steam. Now we have both windows open. The left one contains Bepinex, which we just downloaded from GitHub. And the right one is Worldbox itself. So now, Select all those four files in Bepinex and we're gonna drag them over. All right, after we're done, we're gonna close the left window. We don't need that one because we dragged all Bepinex files into Worldbox. This window we won't close yet. Next thing you do, you right click Worldbox.exe, like you see here. Right click and start as admin. It will ask you, do you really want that? You will tell him, yes. <laughs> After the game has loaded completely, close this thing. All right. And then close Worldbox. Now, if we did everything correct, we should see folder so therefore we're gonna check the Bepinex folder open head to plugins and this is basically the folder uh, which has been created by Bepinex after starting the game as administrator so now we can install simple GUI which requires Bepinex and not NCMS so we're gonna do that so you guys are just um, going to download any mod which needs, like requires Bepinex. Um, how do you tell if something requires Bepinex? Well, you just go to, let me open the browser again, I can show you. You just go to Game Banana, where almost all the mods of, I disagree. Where <laughs> almost all the mods of Worldbox are all right, and then we're gonna search for our Worldbox game. Click on the loop, there it is. Select Worldbox, and now you have all the mods sorted by the latest update. So, as you can see, five hours ago has been updated, one day ago, two days ago, and so on. If a mod needs Pepinex, 
it will basically tell you in the requirements of the mod. So simple July, I think it has been taken down, but let's see. Yeah, it's not there anymore. Um, what if I search for something? This thing? No, but as you can see, requirements, and then it says NCMS. If a mod requires Pepinex, then it won't say NCMS, it will just tell you it requires basically Bepinex. So yeah. Alright guys, after we found a mod which needs or requires Bepinex, I'll take Simple Joy for this example. Uh, we basically download the mod and you will see a file in the downloaded folder which has a name .dll. Basically you take that file, that dll file and drag it into the plugins folder you have created in Pepinex. All mods which require Bepinex to run with, um, they are located in Bepinex plugins. Alright, now we start our game. Alright, we're in the game. We're gonna close this window. And close this window. And now we won't see Simple Dry in NCMS. I mean in this mod window which is basically made by NCMS because it doesn't require NCMS and NCMS can't run that mod so therefore we're gonna close that um, and the sim UI is basically up here in the right corner top right corner if I click on this one the mod opens and now I can enjoy my game with simple UI which requires Pepinex. Alright people, one more thing to note, I have uploaded a new map on Steam Workshop. It is this one, Tournament Island version 2. So the first one was very successful, <laughs> if I can say it in this way. So thank you very much for that. Thank you for the likes. Um, the second version has been updated and you guys uh, should check out the new <laughs> version of it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a good day. If you liked the tutorial, please make sure to leave a like. If my tutorial helped you, leave a comment. And otherwise, if you like my videos in general, please give me a subscription so I can keep going. Thank you, until next time.